To me, it was like they're taking some things out mm. of them, like they were putting the spray like, like, like gunning power. Mm. So they were doing it with the crushing? Yeah, with the crushing. There is a lot of unrest in people, and it comes from the mental and emotional state. We carry bombs in ourselves. Anything triggers you, you go. You go. She said, this is the rock of healing. This is La Fica La Podiso. It is an art counseling center, actually. We call it a safe space, a space where people can come and um, talk about issues that um, they are facing in their lives in the presence of a caring and um, very responsible and empathetic adult who we call a community art counselor. The art counselors that I'm talking about are people that are trained here at Lefika to create safe spaces. Art therapy is using art as a healing tool. Um, what we call it here at Lefika is community art counseling. So over the last 20, 20 years, we've been training community art counselors. And up to now, um, I've been the only trainer together with my colleague, Luke. And Train the Train has provided the opportunity for senior community art counselors to be able to also train the course. Creating their songs using secret language they both understand. Then the boy woke up and realized that it was just a dream. I think uh, the non-verbal factor of art counseling is what is different from other talking therapies. Um, because sometimes words can get in the way of feelings and you have to process differently before you talk and you have to think and connect your emotions and everything else with the words that come out of your mouth. But with um, art counseling, it kind of comes without that barrier of words. Do, do. Do you want a lower table? I see the learner to so that you use your mouth. Now today, what you are going to do, I am going to give you a basket. You are going to throw in whatever you can contain. Listen to your brush. Use your feelings, listen to the brush. The sound of the brush is very, very important to you. And the feel of the paint. And, and, and when you want to, 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 to make it clean, when you want to arrange it to be okay, listen to that. Listen to what you are doing. Connect with what you are doing when you are doing your art painting. You know, today that to do is painting. I, I feel good. This is an explanation of an expression from within. I feel very, very good seeing them paint. How did you feel? I felt like there were some things on my shoulders that way. Okay, that's how you felt? Okay. How did you feel yesterday? For me, painting or doing art is a way of speaking. Uh, so I am normally very introverted and I don't like to talk a lot. I'm a very quiet person um, and I can speak the loudest through my art. So in my head what I'm thinking doesn't always make sense, but when I do an artwork about it, my art doesn't have to be something that makes sense. So it's just it's, it's, it's really just about my voice being 
seen. The feedback that we got was that the children that we were working with were performing better at school. And the way in which they were carrying themselves in terms of behavior had improved. This type of work like psychoanalysis and psychology and stuff like this has really been confined to uh, sort of middle class to higher middle class groups that can afford to go to see someone one on one once a week. That excludes a, a, a big uh, part of our community in South Africa. They can't access this because they can't afford it. I think art therapy is for everyone. You know, it's not um, only children. Um, it is for everyone who needs a language. The day rises at sunrise and at the beginning of your day. And when it sets, that's when the day ends. And you go through a lot from the moment you wake up emotionally to the moment you go back to bed. <laughs> 